How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful day. This week is a pretty big week. Not only do we have a uh, plunderstorm that's going to be gone in like two weeks, so they got a big XP buff for it. We have the War Within Alpha, which is set to drop before season four. This is the final week of season three. Next week, after the next reset, is season four stuff. So, based on the roadmap that we got, it's either happening today or tomorrow, or the day after. But there's also pretty, some kind of like an event going on. They got press, they got content creators. It is happening in Europe, looks like London. But yeah, so far it seems that the um, the War Within stuff should be out uh, this week. Yeah, it's actually kind of exciting. Let me also pin this here really quickly. Uh, how to, hold on, how to sign up for a chance at uh, the war within alpha beta access. Here I go. If you guys want to join, this is the link. I'm gonna have it pinned in the chat just for anybody that's interested. How you boys all doing? Welcome back. This is gonna be a pretty big week. And then we got what? Cataclysm pre patch dropping also as well. Hey Adele, so far there's a do my guy. Hope we you got are a having a good one. How do you get the beta access? Look. Oh, how did I get the alpha access? Ooh, Hold on, let me baby, see. are you kidding me? My <laughs> man, man over here. Look. So, <laughs> is this you your first it. rodeo you with this whole alpha beta stuff, right? If this is your very first rodeo with the new expansion stuff, none of these is ever a guaranteed chance. Actually, the only guaranteed chance of getting beta, which is super new, this wasn't a thing normally, there is a guaranteed way of getting beta. 
That is if you want to spend extra money for it. Normally, Blizzard it just has it just up to the draw. It's just got a random chance for you to get it. But uh, if you get a version of um, War Within, <laughs> it may it may look at it as like, oh man, that's a little bit pay to win, right? I'll let you be the I'll let you be the one to decide that, okay? I'll let you be the one to decide that, all right? <laughs> let me see if I can find it really quickly. Where's the War Within? Uh, Warcraft. Where's War Within? I'm gonna find it here. Uh, do, 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 do. here we go. Oh, wait, put purchase now. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If you're getting the War Within uh, edition, uh, let me see if I can do it like this, right? If you get the War Within edition, the epic edition, there's a diff bunch of different editions of uh, War Within. The epic edition also comes with a. If I can find it. Here we go. So. Does it show anything here? No, it doesn't actually show anything, does it? Uh, one of them gives you... One of them grants you early access to... Or at least a beta access, like a guarantee. Also, three-day head start. Which is like a head start, but not... It's like, yeah, it's uh, technically good to play early. But you don't really have any advantages besides being able to have an extra few days to level a handful of characters. That's really about all. Um, which one of them... One of them has a beta, though. Doesn't it? Can I do compare? Is that what I do? Hold on. I just want to see if we'll be looking at the right thing. Compare. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there it is, actually. Hold on. This is it. So we have the base edition, heroic edition, epic edition, right? You can see all the parts here. Beta access for War Within. If you get the epic edition, which is a pretty big pre-order, uh, it'll show all three at the bottom. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I had to take a look at it myself. Yeah. Beta access. Let me see if I can scroll it up. Beta, uh, beta access to War Within. Check mark for the Epic Edition. Third day game time, which is just like... I mean, I guess... Squally, Patchling Pad, Sandbox, Storm Griffin Toy. Nothing crazy. Dwellers Hearthstone. I mean, I like Hearthstones. Then again, this is also my job. What's up, Leora? Hey, the fam. I have uh, four Epic Editions already? What do you mean you have four Epic Editions already? How many fans? Oh, no, what does that mean? I like Blizzard takes their, uh, for their MT access. It, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This was a topic at the very, very beginning when they first released all the editions. A lot of people said it's pay to win, but like... It's like, technically, you do get to play early, so yes, but I don't really know if it, like, fully fits in the pay-to-win. Pay-to-win giga? I don't know, man. I just, I've had a hard time, like, wrapping my head around it and really, like, committing to that idea of, yes, this is pay-to-win. Because it's like, okay, you get, like, three days early, but, like, dungeons are not open. You don't, like, even if you level a character to max level, it's not like you'll be able to get one extra week of Mythic Zero reclears. None of the dungeon content is going to be available, or, like, Endgame content, you know? When is the next Friday found one decided to come destroy uh, show two power of Destro? Friday for EU, Saturday for any of my guy. When is the Alpha Dal? This week, King. This week. Don't really can't do anything that week. Yeah, like the way that you're leveling for those three extra days, there's nothing. Like, even if you get to max level, there's they said themselves, like, they even said, like, they're not gonna have you do endgame stuff or any endgame progression during those early three days, right? The first week, and like those three days are all going to be part of that stretch where like nothing is really happening. You're just there to level. The first week, I think you will be able to get Mythic Zeros done. But for the first three days of early access, nothing. Yeah, ready for 1v5. Hit over no more on the world for SS. Go for it, man. Let's go. Let's go, Jason. Definitely not pay to win. I don't know. I th Okay, I guess it depends, right? So I... It's one of those gray areas where it's like... I'm, I wouldn't say it's like a hardcore pay to win... I think it more depends if it's pay to win, depending on what you value. The way I look at WoW, right, is like getting advantage for endgame progression. If you can actually level and in those three days you can do Mythic Zeros, get a full clear, that means you get a full extra set of full clears before everybody else. With Mythic Zeros actually dropping really good gear now, right? Because the uh, Season 4, Dragonflight, is changing the way dungeons function, where basically Mythic Zeros are gonna give you raid equivalent gear, like normal raid equivalent gear. It's like a plus 10 gear drops from a Mythic Zero. That's kinda huge. 
right? You basically, if you can get yourself a bunch of people to funnel you gear, you can have a character be on fully normal geared out, or ready to go into the raid tier, and like you'll have a serious advantage. All it does is give you like a little bit extra time to like level a new character, but like, I guess for some people, like just being able to see the game early is pay to win just because you're there before everybody else. Or maybe you're starting maybe with some of the rep stuff before anybody else. But I mean, like ever since they removed Renown and tying Renown to like, you know, power progression, I just don't... It's such a gray area, man. Finally, we have to be at a highlight Dallas video. Let's go, dude. I feel like three days because it's the only reason I can level chill and actually see the story. Yeah, also, I so I guess... I don't know. I don't want to defend this practice, right? I don't like this practice of base editions or early access or whatever, right? I, I think, because the, the thing is, at least, the prices for epic editions didn't really change, right? The prices for, like, the highest edition of WoW expansion hasn't really changed too much, right? Some are up, some are down or whatever, but it's just an extra bonus, but the prices didn't get higher. You know, it's just like, it's about the same you would pay for other, about the same what you would pay for the expansions. It's just an extra bonus they added because I guess they put in more stuff in the Heroic and the base edition, right? Or more, I, yeah, I, that's, I don't know, that's what it's, that's what it made it sound like. I, I don't know, it's just such a gray area, it's so weird. It's anyone's, it's up to anyone's discretion to decide whether it's pay to win or not. I don't feel like it's pay to win, but then again, this is what I do for a living, so... You know, hi everyone, what's up, Cindy? Hope you're having a good one. Or Cindy Sue, is that it? Is that it right? Did I say it correctly? The Y in Cindy. <laughs> Throws me for a loop. Hi, Dal, waiting for a last year of talents. Curious what Sentinel will be. I'm excited too, Sally. I'm hopeful. Hopefully, it'll be good, man. I have, we haven't seen any other rogue ones except for Trickster. I'm excited to see what else we get through the early access is more beneficial to crafters. I can see that from perspective of like you get to farm early or you get to break into the uh, mining blacksmithing profession a little bit quicker or like herbalism I guess mining and herbalism you get to carry, get mats a little earlier I can see that or like just advancing your professions if they are continuing on the whole like dragonfly crafting system into the expansion which it sounds like they are but they haven't like told us any information right because what if you don't get any new talent points and new specializations well, no one's alpha is here, but like for now, they just kind of, they haven't said anything about it. So I just don't really know exactly what they're doing with it. Base edition gives a free character boost and enhance one of that. That is huge. Is that why they added more stuff to Epic is because the base gives you a character boost? Okay, because they said something like, oh, they, they took something that was normally heroic or epic and gave it to basic. And they had to just like give something extra to Epic so the players feel like they get more value for the buck. Or some along those lines. I forgot exactly what it was. If it was the boost, then I'd say yeah. Because the boost was kind of, I think it was part of Heroic Edition. But that being base, I mean, the wanted to get people to play the new expansion. I don't really blame them, right? <laughs> so for them, it's a benefit in general. Three days to farm a new Lariat recipe. Is that what it's going to be? I'm hoping we don't get another Lariat, dude. I am hoping we don't get what we got in Dragonflight, where some of these crafted items are giga good, while others you just never get to see any play whatsoever. I'm hoping they do differently in this expansion, where we won't have a Lariat, but we won't have like that snowball glove thing for leather clasps. I don't know if you play with that thing. It does zero damage. It actually is just useless. I feel so bad when somebody goes to craft one of those. Because it does nothing. <laughs> and somebody, some people actually do get them crafted too. And I'm a leather guy. I get to craft them. I'm like, oh no. I almost want to whisper and be like, no, don't waste your money. Here, here, here. Here's, uh, here's the items you need for a toxic set of boots, right? Slimy boots or thorn boots. Either one you want, right? Craft one of those. You'll be much better off than crafting snowballs. Much better off. We're on second mythic garage skills here. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, we got. <laughs> we're on second garage killers, boys. That's what we were on BTR. <laughs> I think the op was a brilliant to get people to level up fast forward with them. Yes, I do agree with you, Frederick. I do agree with that. It's quick. It's going to get quicker the more characters you level because you keep upgrading the cloak and it's an account wide cloak. So any advantages, any bonuses you get on your main with the experience gains makes leveling all easier and look it took me like two days to get a rogue leveled to from 10 to 60 was really really quick 60 to 70 was the longest grind because it's like slows down but they really want you to do end game stuff by that point by 60 because you could do a lot of the end game stuff um besides like heroic rating that's really about the only thing you can't do but everything else normal raids all that stuff is available for you 
right? So you can get a bunch of heroic dungeons done, all those things, gear your character, really figure out your build or whatever. Um, but leveling your paladin afterwards and doing like a full Skullman's run with like one quest that was able to complete, normal Skolo, uh, six levels <laughs> from level 10 to 16. Six levels, just like a boost, a little boop. <laughs> it's so nice. See, so someone who was bugged because it was rewarding Chromie time XP questing. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, then it's gonna be even quicker then. Never mind. I thought that was on purpose. I it, it felt intentional because at 60 you can now do endgame stuff. Or at least it feels like you can do most endgame stuff. If that is a bug, then yeah, it's gonna be even quicker. Yeah, because leveling from 1 to 10 to 60 was quick. So if that 60 to 70 is just as fast, oh, you're gonna be cruising. Yo, you're gonna do just a handful more. What is it? A LFR raid? LFR wing of like the first Mogoshan Vault raid is a level or two? You're gonna blaze through those quickly. People walk in, crank the bosses. First boss dies instantly because everybody goes brittle. You stack up a damage buff on one of the Killeens, it explodes, causes the other Killeens to explode. They get brittle, they also explode, and it's just a chain reaction where they just one shot him. Second guy, you just AFK and attack him. That's all you do. Third guy, uh, pull the trolls, kill the big troll guy. Maybe somebody dies to some totem mechanic, who knows really. It's just that easy. He's getting 70% of a level from one quest on JD150. Yeah, no, it's crazy, man. Never bought an Epic Edition until this expect until I saw the early access and I had to buy it. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're... I guess it depends. Do you value that early access or do you really, really want to test out the beta or whatever, right? That's a that's an option, too. Yeah, Orwich is getting some fatty serious for no reason. Someone has been consistent. That is unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. Let me, uh, what's up, Tim Jim, by the way? How you doing, my man? Starting your bot farm three days early, very profitable. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I guess if you put it like that, yeah. If you put it like that, yeah, starting your bot farm three days early. <laughs> That's my best stuff to say, because it's like, no, no, no bots, but you know it's going to happen, dude. You know it's going to happen. All right, so. War Within Waiting Room is open. From this point on, the Alpha could drop at any moment, most likely tomorrow. We're gonna hang out today, do some stuff, talk about the game, talk about War Within. But let me pull up the um, the roadmap. Because, like, this thing is dropping this week, chat. You don't gotta believe me. Don't believe your boy Dal, but you can believe the roadmap, the one that Blizzard officially released. So, roadmap. Can you guys see it, actually? Is my face covering it? Sort of, kinda. Uh, can I do it like this? Yeah, I can do it like this. Look, 10 to 6, War Within Alpha before Season 4. It has to come out before Season 4. It's gotta. At least when I look at it like this, I'm like, yeah, it definitely has to come out before Season 4. I mean, you know? <laughs> it's gotta. Them three uh, days early access is like, uh, is like 5, 7, level 80s. You think so? I mean, I guess if you're grinding super, super hard, maybe. I'm hoping, if anything, right, if any advantage comes out of the three uh, early access thing, um, I'm hoping that there'll be a... What am I trying to say? I'm hoping if any advantage comes out of the early access will be a feat of the fact that the servers will probably be a little bit more stable, right? Because if you have players kind of staggered in terms of how many are leveling at a time, right? A portion of players will be leveling three days before the actual drop. And then the rest of the players will be leveling on the day, on the drop of the expansion. I'm hoping it'll mean like servers are a little more stable. Instead of like all, oh, everybody trying to get packed into the realms at once, right? Causing lag, causing issues, causing multiple DCs or whatever. Servers will be way better. Hopefully, right? These are Blizzard servers. Like, to be fair, these are Blizzard servers, right? All of us play Blizzard games. These are Blizzard servers, so like... I want to give them the credit. It should be better. On paper, it should be better. We gotta hope it's actually gonna be better. <laughs> but as for the war within beta, man, that's launching a little bit later, man. It's launching before pre-patch, way after uh, 10 to 7. That's actually a while from now. Yeah, I guess it's like the last. We're probably do, gonna do a lot of ray testing once the beta is out. And then it's gonna be like, all right, final stretch. Let's make sure everything kind of works or whatever. But yeah. I uh, had a full roster of summonies by the end of the first week. You want to take a break from, uh, to farm Rathian rep? I don't think I leveled a character. I just geared my main, but I probably didn't have to. Because I was doing a lot of that gearing for the rares, right? Farming as many rares as I could. That's what I was doing for a good bit. Uh, let's see. Um, a whale bot uh, is guaranteed beta. Wait, what? What about uh, guaranteed beta access? Well, I bought it. Oh, I'm in Fiona. Hey, what's up, River? How you doing, my guy? 
Hope you're having a good one. But yeah, so this week is fantastic. Uh, I th- at least I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm hoping it'll be fantastic. But it was to say Alpha will be releasing today. Uh, I didn't... S- when did Blizzard? Nobody said it. Nobody said it. But it's got to be this week. Right, okay. So let's do some thinking here. So by the map, it looks like War Within should be releasing before Season 4, right? I mean, when you look at this roadmap, it looks like it should be releasing before Season 4. They're hap- they're doing something Wednesday, too, right? Some kind of a creative meetup, some kind of a uh, creative meetup and a press event. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the screenshots really quick, then. This is going to work. Hold on. That works, yeah. That works. Cool. Cool. Just uh, for you guys. Uh, apparently how long Dale has traveled to London talk about wow with press and creators this week at the same time We had what Tally say no stream until Wednesday liquid max say no stream until Wednesday. I think a couple other people called out as well Uh, Who's this uh, Hello, hello Hello, hello. Who is this? Okay. Hi. Welcome. Just me- write a message, I guess. Um, it's been t- it's within twenty four hours, based on the events. Yeah, like I would be very very surprised if they were just like, hey, we have a big announcement on Wednesday, and they were like, uh, <laughs> and they ended up doing like what what is that WoW mobile game, right? Or the Blizzard mobile game. And they decided to do like some kind of like a little update for a mobile title. It would just wouldn't make sense to get Tally and Liquid Max out there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Even I saw Mr. GM post a picture of a train. So he's traveling there too. And I imagine quite a handful of players there are traveling. I've been seeing that uh, one cosplayer uh, showing off for cosplay in some location. Uh, forgot what her name was. I'm so bad with names, ma'am. Um, is an alpha usually just uh, given streamers anyway? No, not necessarily. So alpha is a random access. Usually you do give it to streamers or content creators, I guess, or like, I guess it's like free advertising for them in a way, right? Or usually they would give it to alpha access to like people that do like actual, like they would do ray testing, they would do class testing, theory crafters, you know, players that kind of make up a lot of the uh, the community and wow in terms of like, you know, class design, because they need somebody to actually test the class ideas on what works, what doesn't work, right? Uh, but alpha is given out to random like it's completely random friends and friends uh, friends and family usually get access to alpha um, But it's also randomized too. It's not like a guaranteed list or anything because there have been some alphas where like content creators like see I think he got access to other alphas and betas a while but Dragonflight, I think he was missed out on and he wasn't quite sure exactly why I don't think he's ever got a response and there were some other people that they thought they were shoo-in, but they didn't get it. It's a very... It's not consistent, right? It's not going to be too far from me to get still alpha key. Yeah, remember when they actually had alpha keys way back in like... What is it? Mop or Wad or something, right? Where you could actually give out keys. Instead, now they just flag people's accounts. Because, of course, once people got a key, they would try selling it. So it was like, okay, all right. There's probably some legal issue here. Can't be doing keys anymore. This is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> Hmm. Mm. Much of class changes happening, on including tier sets. Tiran, do you ha- what, for season four or for War Within Tiran? Which one do you talk about specifically? What have you learned? Yeah. You still have, I think it was Mob Lemayo. Dude, yeah, one of the expansions people went wild. Uh, straight up selling Alpha Axis keys, man. People were farming like streamer giveaways to get keys and they were just absolutely just selling them online. Yeah, I, just, I forget what you spent to the world. Might, might have been mob, might have been wad, might have been one of those or whatever. I have no idea. But yeah, it was nutty. As for like the class changes, if you talk about two run, if you talk about like war within class changes, we know only of like hero talents and some of the hero specs that they got going on, right? Some of the hero specs that got cooking. But as for like the um as for like the overall class changes or big revamps or anything like that. They alluded to things like they're probably going to change warriors a bit. They alluded to things like priests are probably going to go through a change. Um, monks most likely are going to go through a change. Other classes are going to go through a change. But as for like specifics of what exactly is being changed, they didn't say anything. 
Correction, big name streamers like Tali, Asmund, uh, Tali S always get alpha guaranteed. They don't miss out. Uh, is alpha out now? No, it's out this week. It has to be out this week, then. Hunters, please. Yeah, Hunters, I, they probably could use a revamp, honestly. They, could, they probably could use a revamp. But no, Alpha looks like it might be out. It's very, very likely out this week. We're for Season 4 and the second of last week of Season 3, people will get plus 23 at all. No, I know what to do with Yasma. You know what? It's, I think it might, might be people coming back to the game. They haven't really done too much with Yasma. They just try to get some of the last minute like pushes done in order to maybe have a good score in prep for Season 4. Honestly, I wouldn't even worry about it. I, I'm not even farming out keys. Like, I would just get gear, maybe. Should not be put in, should not get the alpha. Asmund should not get the alpha. He didn't even get an invite to a Plunderstorm. Wait, he didn't even get an invite to Plunderstorm? Didn't he play in Plunderstorm event with Zeppla? Or what do you mean by that? He didn't get an invite. See, if I don't home buy Epic Edition upgrade to DF, there's no guarantee that I can play the alpha. So. That's a good question, actually, Daily. All we know is beta is guaranteed for anybody that got the Epic Edition. As for Alpha, it's a little up in the air. Uh, what All we can guarantee, uh, based on Blizzard's like Epic Edition thing or whatever, beta access, guaranteed. Alpha access, still up in the air. I don't know if, like, if you're... I would still register, right? The link in the chat that we have pinned still will just go register. Like, if you're interested in testing the Alpha, and seeing the early builds of the game. But he also, if you're interested in the beta, I would still sign up either way. Even if you already bought like the Epic Edition with a uh, beta access, I would still register. Just if you're interested in seeing the early builds for yourselves and testing stuff for yourselves, right? If you're interested in going through a whole process of being there, giving feedback, all those things, right? Helping shape stuff, helping give you uh, your own opinions on things. Uh, yeah, that's, it's a pretty good time. Like, you'll be surprised how uh, much players get to affect during the alpha and beta progress. Uh, but yeah, beta guaranteed as far as we know. Alpha, I don't think it's ever been guaranteed. For many expansions that I've done and any alphas that I've been a part of, it's never guaranteed. Nothing is ever really guaranteed. Uh, did not play Plunderstorm early. What do you mean? Uh, what class are you looking forward to most more within? I mean, I want to see what they do with Rogue, right? This has been my baby for like ever, but... Like, besides Rogue, class is one of the most excited about, I'd say. I'd say I'm very interested in what Hunters get. I'm very, very excited to for, for Death Knights. I just want to see what their specs are going to be like with the Hero Towns. Because Rider of the Apocalypse sounds badass. Right? And even the other two sound pretty good, but Rider sounds amazing. So, those two classes. I'd say I'm interested in Warlock. Their hero specs so far have been really, really good. I want to see more Shaman and Priest, but like, if I had to name a couple, besides Rogue, Hunter, Death Knight, Warlock. Three classes, specifically. Beto's what I was actually thinking about, so thanks for the info, no problem, my guy. Bro, I've been watching the duels for a while, I was just different, mustache rocks. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Zeppelin got the invite to Plunderstorm as we came as their partner. Is that how that, how that worked? Okay, uh, Zeppla got the invite, Asmund came as a plus one. Oh, okay. Interesting. I had no idea. I always uh, have alpha friends and family for, uh, invites. Of Dude, exactly. Yeah. Friends and family invites is how a lot of like people get in. If you got somebody at Blizz or know somebody at Blizz, and you can just be like, hey, I heard I hear a war with it coming out. Do you by chance have like a friends and family list or whatever? Can I be added in that? What not? You know? I think it's worth reaching out if you know somebody, man. Does anyone need Ashes of Alara for a TK for the sword? Drop three down. Wait, Ashes drop three down? It dropped three Ashes? What do you mean? What would you get in the Alpha? I have the Epic Edition to get in the Beta, but I'd like to get Alpha Invite. Yeah, it's Alpha is not a guarantee, though. That's just, that's how it's been with every other expansion. Signing up for the Beta Access, or signing up as an, to express interest in the Beta Access, right? Um, Doesn't mean you guarantee with the Alpha. That's that's usually so completely randomized in terms of who gets it, who doesn't. And they don't usually... I mean, of course, there's preferential treatment, right? Streamers, content creators, like, all of you... Like, Tally's gonna get it, right? Tally's gonna get it. Tally's the kind of guy that has, like, connections at Blizz. He's been around for, like, ever. And uh, he always has, like, somebody on the inside. So whenever he's, like, talking about things, 
It's usually because somebody on the inside is telling them things. Right, so he's gonna get alpha access. It'd be weird if he didn't, right? I remember watching those be very cool people content on YouTube. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, anyone know what the ashes are? Uh, uh, I didn't manage to get uh, alpha with alpha hysterically. We'll see, we'll see. You know what? One expansion, I forgot which one it was. I think it's about the time Overwatch was coming out. I think it was, um, it was a situation where me and a buddy of mine, right? He was super excited for Overwatch because he liked Team Fortress. And at the time, like, Overwatch won. And I got, like, the early access to Overwatch. And his account somehow got flagged for, like, the early access to whatever WoW expansion was coming out. And we were both like, wait. Bro. We gotta have to do a swap. We gotta have to do a sw switcheroo. Are you gonna <laughs> We definitely did not exchange account info or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I got Kata beta on the second week. I am very surprised I didn't get Kata beta. I was actually very excited and looking forward to it. Cataclysm is the expansion that I started playing in. And that's why it got me a little concerned, man. I'm not even sure if I do get the... If, if Alpha comes out, I don't think I'm on the list. I didn't get the Alpha beta. Because I got the what, Wrath of Lich King beta or Alpha, whatever they did for Wrath back in when that was coming out. I didn't really spend a lot of time on it. But I'm a little worried now. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. A little worried. Uh, what I meant by streamers get guaranteed alpha invites because they because every time without a fail, big streamers always get invited down. Usually, but like I, at the same time, like I would consider C do a big streamer, right? He has uh, uh, quite a lot of viewers. He is very prominent. He's been to the AWCs, right? World champion at least once. He's been to those multiple multiple times in a row. C do is a very well known name amongst like healers or rest or shamans or. PvPers in general, right? A well-known name, streams quite regularly, has a good following. He didn't get alpha for War Within for like a long while. So that's a that's a that's a name for you, right? If you were just one example of like, oh, the big streamers get in. Well, CDR I'd consider him a pretty big streamer from the PvP scene. He didn't get in. PvPers get shattered all the time. I don't know how many people do get in, how many people don't get in, but. I mean, if that's a general statement, then yes. When it comes to World of Warcraft, PvP does usually get shafted. Yeah, I agree with that. If you mean like specifically on Alpha, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> Beta wide, even though my great accounts have uh, been happy before. I mean, sometimes you know, you know, sometimes you're on a list and you just stay on a list, man. Once you're on a list, you usually are on a list. Sometimes, but not always. It's so like none of that whole process is like super open. You know what I mean? Uh, last beta, I got into the wrath. I thought I, uh, I didn't get get to try the others. I got I tried to get the beta for Legion, but yeah, looking forward to this time around. Hell yeah, man! It's a it's, it's a fun experience going through an expansion and seeing the early builds and seeing how it develops. It is a it is an experience that I have. I still remember what is it the Shadowlands alpha and beta process. I remember the Dragonflight alpha and beta process. It was a lot of fun. I definitely sacrificed all of my sleep when it came out. Um, to get as many videos out and stream it as much as possible and, you know, because I was like, well, it's not just the alpha for me, but it's also for everybody who watches me. So, you know, might as well make it a collaborative effort. You guys want to see something? Let me show you. Let me go test it all together. You guys are interested in the class? Let me go take a look at it, right? Let me try things you want to see out of it. Honestly, one of my favorite times of the cycle, check it out. Ahead. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I do like these kind of things, man. When a new expansion comes out, it is electric. It is a vibe. That's why I got in a fresh account. By the way, I got to be in the middle of a cell. So hard swap to one account. Started again, but I got a lot of stuff. Hell yeah. You stream every day on the beta DF? I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure I tried to stream every day as best as I could. Um, I do remember my sleep just being absolutely awful. Like I was just riding high off of just coffee. Right? And that's like the only thing that kept me even like awake and feeling kind of alive mildly. I think it did. I watched the idea of beta. <laughs> yeah. I, I tried to stream that as much as I could. Yeah, it was a feels like a while ago now, man. Feels like well, two actually two years ago. Yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna I probably am gonna go back into that same mindset. And like if we get the alpha, right? I'm not I, I still I'm not gonna lie, I have a little bit of like a like a bad feeling. Like I got a bad feeling about this. An Obi-Wan ass quote, you know what I mean? But like if we get in, we're streaming regularly, every day. If we don't get in, I'm I'm a cry in the pillow every day. That's just how it's gonna be. Because we're either gonna cry in the pillow or we're gonna stream every day. Or probably cry and stream. 
this craft room happened. It's not sad enough that time. Uh, coffee and copium. Basically, dude, coffee and copium. What were the next wedding expansion makes the whole launch of the game? It just looks like two weeks. Yeah, dude, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I think it also helps out that uh, out of all the people to come back to World of Warcraft to lead it forward, Chris Metzen himself, man, is a good. Man, is that good. You doing keys today? I'll be down for some keys. I mean, it's like the end of the season, so I don't really know how many more keys I'll be doing, really. I just kind of want to do my Mythic for Rack or whatever. That's really about it. Much appreciated for that. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to be. We're going to be <laughs> slaughtering our sleep for this, man. I'm telling you. Guaranteed. Mm. I'm also trying to fix my sleep schedule for tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be able to wake up super early. I don't know when they're going to be doing any kind of big announcements, but if I can just get my stuff out of the way, maybe we can have like an early stream if it drops. Um, I believe we're probably going to get Shadow. Um, a shadow invite something you uh or something you call we'll see man we'll see i didn't get into a beta of cataclysm so i don't really know like the fact that i didn't get it if i got in a beta for cataclysm i would have felt like oh okay so we got a beta for this one probably get the alpha for what we're then it'll feel a little bit more like doable but the fact that we didn't get into the um what is it the uh beta for kata i'm a little worried i'm a little concerned but we'll see does it start today uh, probably tomorrow. They got some kind of like a big creature meetup tomorrow. Let me see if I can pull up those um, posts again real quick. But yeah, they got something going on tomorrow. Um, let me see if I can pull it back up again. Yeah, they don't. Really, they're not really specific about it, but they said excited for it to be in London to talk about World of Warcraft press and creators this week. IRL dynamic flight needs to be. Uh, what is it? I rather than make lag be damned. <laughs> Dynamic flight lag. <laughs> but also they got what Max and um Tally saying they're not gonna be streaming until Wednesday, so it looks like something's happening Wednesday. Let me see if I can find some other stuff here. What was it that I saw? Maybe it was something else. Hold on, wowhead. There we go. Was it wowhead or icy veins? I don't remember. I saw another thing about the alpha. Kinda recently. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe that wasn't it. Okay. Forget about that then. But yeah, they got something happening. Looks like something happening Wednesday. A lot of people are saying it's gonna be dropping Wednesday. Haven't I already talked about Rogue in a while? It's also been on stream in a while, just watching duels. You like where Outlaw is at? You know what? Let's go play some Outlaw, man. Yeah. I like where Outlaw is at. It's a very fast-paced spec, though. There's a lot of moving parts going on, and I wonder if they're going to slow it down any in the War Within. I feel like the spec could probably use a slight slowdown, just a little bit. Um, wait, what? What'd you click me, people? The War Within Alpha is almost here. Should I change it? Do you want me to change the title, I guess? Is it that big of a deal? I mean, it's dropping this week. Because it has to be out before Season 4. I could change it to this week. I don't really know. I don't really know, my guy. <laughs> I mean, I can change it, I guess. It's gotta be out soon. Like, is that is that wrong? Am I the bad guy for that? <laughs> it makes zero sense. You know, friend Alpha. What's up, Lightless? Hey, to my man. Zara, uh, Zara. I heard. Uh, yeah, Rogue feels great overall. Does it start today? This week. It's gotta start this week. They got something planned Wednesday. Uh, another bigger to me. Tech always for the invite. I mean, I guess I could go change the title. Like, let me see. Possibly this week. Is that good? That's fine, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh, hopped up for Kata. We played that already. Why are you hopped up for Kata? And that's the expansion that I started playing in, man. That's literally the expansion that I started, and I was a Kata baby. That's 
You know, look, some people started back in vanilla, some people started back in TBC, some people started back in Wrath, I started in Kata. Of course I'd be excited for my very, very first expansion. What do you mean? You can't even play Kata content now in retail, why hype it up and you're gonna play two days in GG? Dude, I don't know, man. I We know what I used to do back in Cataclysm. Not a lot. I didn't really raid the first few tiers. I didn't really get to raid too much of Firelands. I really started raiding towards the very, very last raid. So I think it'd be fun for me to go back and play those. But also, it's like, it's not quite retail. Like, the class design, man, I mean, the mages, dude, they were just shattering people. You had Deep Freeze, man. You had rogues with infinite amount of survivability, big recoup healing. Subtlety had to manage multiple buffs and debuffs, but you had big bursts out there. Warriors would walk in and just hit the throwdown, man. Paladins had this little ghostly little angel thing that followed around building up strength and stuff, man. <laughs> like, classes were, yes, I guess it's like... It was taking that step towards retail, but it wasn't quite retail, man. You could, back in Kata, you played a Boomkin, you didn't have Incarnation, you would cycle on a guy, drop three mushrooms under them, land up a Star Surge with a Trinket, as Cyclone's about to fall off, pop mushrooms, all of it hits at once, you could blast somebody to smithereens, man. It was incredibly, incredibly fun. You didn't have <laughs> Incarnation. I just want to play Boomkin without Incarnation. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Is that too much? Oh, Donovan made it. Everything points to Alpha being tomorrow, just as in mind. Yeah, 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 Donovan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything points to it for tomorrow. Um, they think you didn't change the title, but I guess others are really picky. Bro, it is crazy. I remember it was really, really bad for, like, what? The uh, War Within and Shadowlands. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't want to make this too much about negativity. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill it here. Mushroom Terrorist, <laughs> dude, it was nuts. It was actually so fun, man. It was actually so fun. Rolling new server to be my main with MLP release remix. Uh, would it be a good to know my current server 270 is not playing for about nine months? What would be what uh, what would be good to know on my current server and 270s after not playing nine months? I guess it depends what server you're trying to go for. Rolling new server. Are you asking like what server should you place to one? Illidan is a fantastically large server. Ty Andres is apparently a... I mean, I could go through, like, some of the big names, some of the servers, if you just want to play on, like, a big number server. Wow, progress? Not a great website for, like, track and super accurate info, but they do a decent job when it comes to, like, server numbers. Realms US. Population. Like, are you, are you asking, like, what, what populated realms should you be looking for? Area 52, Illidan, Storm Rage, um, which I think is an Australian realm, isn't it? No, Storm Rage is not Australian. Taik, Zildjian, which is French, big French Canadian community there. Thrall is a pretty sizable. Mulganus is sizable. Sergeras, Proudmoor. Then there's like Ragnaros, Azralon, Quothalas. Dalaran is a pretty decently sized server, but not as big. Play on it from time to time, but definitely not one of the bigger ones. If that's what you're looking for, Airfield Sim, that's a decent one. Like that's a, if you're just looking for like a big population numbers, those are good ones. Just like if you're looking for more opportunities. Yeah, so if you wanna, so for the Miss Pandaria thing, it looks like you'll be able to make a character on already existing servers. You'll just be running a time running version on that server. So if you wanna take those characters on that server, on a big server, make a character for time running on like every 52. So then when the time running is gone, that character will be max level or level 70 on every 52 if you level into the all the way. So restrictions are kind of going over the wall within. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They are doing some, like a lot of the uh, server stuff. I do wonder if like servers are gonna matter even less, but I, I, I just to be safe, right? That's still gonna be my recommendation. Play on one of the bigger servers. Just, that's just the safest route, man. Just the safest route, you know. So I can hear a lot of good things about Air Fruits too. Yeah, you can do that one. Uh, make a second evoke already have one. Yeah, they need to adjust it with 10 to 7 specifically, allowing players to make multiple evokers in 10 to 7. Because evokers, you'll be able to. You don't really get a, like a new leveling experience for evoker with the start of level 10 until the war within, I imagine, in pre patch. But if you, let's say, you're trying to play an evoker for the Mr. Pandari mode, right? Preservation, AUG, Dev, whatever. You can't make a second evoker if you already have one on your server. So, like. If I have an evoker in Illidan and I want to play the Miss of Pandari mode and have a character on Illidan, I already have an evoker, so you can make one just for this mode. It's a little, it's a little messed up. That's my plan. Make some characters for the servers. 
And the Crossroom Guilds opens up. Join back to the Kirby Guild. Yeah, there we go. That's another way of doing it. Yeah, Crossroom Guilds. I forgot about that, actually. Yeah, I guess the only thing the realm is going to give you, though, right? If anything, I think just having a high populated realms, I think is still going to be advantageous because let's say you want to do work orders and stuff, right? Profession things. There's more people in the realm that are pulling in work orders compared to being on a dead realm. Or if you're like on the wrong faction of a popular realm, right? Like I have a lot of a uh, couple of alliance characters in Illidan, but Illidan is mostly a horde realm. There are a handful of lions here and there, but for the most part, yeah, there's just not that many. Not that many. So when you're looking for stuff, uh, like, like looking for a craft, it's a little bit harder. You have to find somebody in the horde and then be like, oh, you know, I have an ult that kind of send the stuff from my ult. They're like, yeah, sure. Because you can do, like, unless they make trade chat and general chat, one of those things where you can see horde and alliance of the general chat. If they do that, I think that fixes it completely. I feel like that fixes it entirely. Okay, I don't have that many coins at all. Uh, with Alpha not out yet, that was kind of a clickbait. It's happening soon, right? Is it not happening soon, King? Or would you say it's not happening soon? It's up to you, man. It's up to you decide, I guess. Actually, I do want the answer from you. On the plus side, medium pop server has no trade chat spam. True, but when you're looking to get something crafted, it does become a little bit harder on a low pop realm rather than a high pop realm. You know what I mean? Are they gonna to be dwarves and a horde soon? Yeah, dwarves and a horde. I, we're gonna see what kind of racials they got going on. Appearance wise, they're gonna be dwarves, but I'm hoping they got some really good racials. They're gonna have a lot of classes uh, access available to them. Everything I think besides druid, paladin, and demon hunter is that what they said, or is it soon but not out at the moment? So still clickbait. How is soon and not out at the moment? Not out this very second are the same though, King. I do want explanation. Are those the same? I I I, I know I am English English is my second language, but I'm not retarded. What the hell? Title on this here uh, means soon. Let's chill. Look, I don't understand, man. I actually don't understand. Whatever. Uh no Voker no Voker Druid Demon Hunter. That's what it is? So they can be paladin and stuff? Okay, other than basic self explained. Makes sense. Yeah, demon hunter for other than yeah, they don't need, they don't really need that. Druid, I can see druid. I can see druid not being a thing. Demon hunter, yeah. Evoker. Okay. Okay, that actually makes sense, right? There's no because nobody can really be an evoker at all. So I guess that makes sense. How many more boxes do I have for this week? Because this is the final week of season three. Let's see if I got any other alts available. Uh, I think you have the shaman. Maybe. Earthen. They are gonna be an earth. The crystal dwarves are the earthen. Earthen being in chat. You can correct me if somebody is better. Is like a a bigger lore historian than I am. But for my understanding, the earthen is basically a race of constructs created by the titans to monitor different stations the titans have created on azeroth some time ago technically dwarves were earthen before the curse of flesh and you had things like the mogu that were also constructs before the curse of flesh and gnomes i think also were constructs before uh, curse of flesh and a couple other things were also constructs before they got hit by curse of flesh where they basically became like their own society or whatever uh do i want this appearance I kind of want this as appearance. I think I'm gonna take it. I know that I probably should take the coin, but I kind of want the look. I kind of want the drip. I kind of need it. Hi for the uh, I forgot the word thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully there will be a. Hopefully they have good ratios, because like appearance wise, it's just dwarves, just a little bigger from what I understood. Just a little bigger dwarves than what you would normally see, but like. We'll see what, the racial, what they are going to be for racials. Got to put a well spot on once I've done on. Yeah, yeah. Um, earthen is an offshoot of a main construct of dwarves. Dwarves. Got the curse of flesh. These earthen were underground. Never interact with the rest of Azeroth. I think there could be like some cool... I just hope they have cool lore, man. Like whatever they do with them, I just hope they give them some really cool stuff that makes us care about them as a faction. You know? Like they don't even have to do a lot. I should probably grab this and just upgrade it to tier. Like a little bit... Oh, 
I mean, I could have. Uh, I'm gonna take coin. I'm gonna take coin. I'm gonna take coin. I don't even care. I don't even care. Be funny if it gets stolen or don't get a stone form. Yeah, I, I feel like dwarves definitely should at least get some kind of like a stone form. You know what? All of them really got stone form. When you think about it, literally every single one of them got the same racial. Every single time, man. Every one of them. You got the dark ground dwarves who can literally use like a fiery stone form to remove dots, give himself a stat boost. You got the normal dwarves who can give himself like a defensive buff, 10% DR. And remove all the dots. These guys are probably gonna do the same thing. It's, I swear it's gonna be also stone form yet again. Just for the horde. And then watch it be OP in PvP and everywhere else too. Watch it be like way better than everything else. How do I have a ring at 415 item level? That is embarrassing. That is actually legitimately embarrassing. That's pretty bad. There we go. Dude, this guy's so behind. So behind. I kind of do want to play Demon Hunter though. It's actually really fun. I don't get to play it that often, but it pumps. It does a lot of damage. It's actually so much fun. I think that might um, hit better as Magda. Is it kind of Earthen, like the Crystal one or whatever? Or maybe. Maybe. Badass Earthen character allied rays don't feel as cool because no relevant characters with them. That might be it. Oh, I feel like they could still. So the characters could still be created. Look, I think. Because, like, Tortolans, right? They're not an allied race or anything, but everybody loves Tortolans from BFA. They're just turtle people. That's all they are. But, like, there are some of the favorites that players enjoyed way back in BFA. It was super cool. Tortolans were great. Hell, Kul'Tyrans were pretty great at some point. And, like, Zendelari, like, you did, we do nothing about them. Then when the expansion drop, we got to know some of the leaders, got to know some of the peoples, and then people grew to like them. And I feel like they could totally do the same thing. I th I think it's going to be a little bit harder because I was just another set of dwarves. But like, if they do like really cool stuff with some of the characters and the storylines with them, I mean, they have like an interesting cast system society, so I think that could be interesting if they do it right. It's going to be storm from that gives every secondary stat a like one two bonus. Watch it, dude. Maybe. Watch it, dude. <laughs> Watch, hold on a second. Yeah, that'd be a lot. Most people love orcs because of Thrall and Edwin humans. I don't know how many people really like humans. I, I don't know. It's, it, it, has that not... Is that not still true? Like, human is like the most boring fantasy race you can pick up in a new game? I think a lot of people play human just because they kind of want to identify with humans. Because they're a human. But like, isn't it still the most boring option out there? Technically? Or am I wrong on that? But, yeah, I don't know. I think there's still, we'll see what they do with them. We'll see what they do with them. All right. I want to see if there's any uh, season four testing or, or, they're not, or are they not doing any of that yet? Because I kind of miss doing the <laughs> season four dungeons, by the way. Kind of miss it. Hold on, I got classic updates real quick. Um... Not so humans, I'll play one. I'm not human, there we go. It's because C-Mox looks base, best in human. Do they actually look that good on human? Some of the mogs, maybe. Don't Blood Elves usually look the best in mogs? Or like Night Elves? I think, I don't know, Shaman, human, human Shaman. The most Shaman mogs don't really look as good in humans. But I think it's because they're usually designed with like Orcish proportions or Tauren proportions or whatever. Right? I would say people love humans because of Varian. Definitely not Anduin, yeah. I don't know, Anduin, I feel like they could still do something with the War Within for him. But yeah, Varian, yeah, that's the homie. Varian is the boy, dude. Yeah, who doesn't want to be like Varian, honestly? I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> I looks best in mugs. Yeah, also pretty good generally. Generally, but that's like, that was on purpose though, because not a lot of people played horde at the time and i was like oh we need more people to play horde let's add blood elves that'll work anybody doing dungeons by chance people are doing dungeons i kind of want to go do a dungeon now hold on a second where's that one warlock that has gear so rot there we go this guy will do it i'm gonna join that plus five just to see if we can get it one done I kind of been enjoying doing season four dungeons recently, and the fact that they're still doing them—I mean, I'd be down for it. Let's see if we can switch this over too. 
Welche Games sind low, Niffen, Sabellian? Wir geben Rap Buff? Reputation Games sind low, Niffen, Rathian, Sabellian, Sir Dromi. Ist das nur für Season 4 Stuff? Das ist neu, ich weiß nicht, dass das da ist. Unless it's like a cycling buff or something. Yeah, dude, bracket hide. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be good. Please read my theory about Anduin. Anduin is dead and Jailer's doppelganger. Doppel. Doppelgangin him. Anduin is dead. I don't think so. I don't think so. But who knows, right? How Mountain Tartan was one of the most. Uh, uh, are the most errat race that nobody plays. True. True. Antlers are rad. Dude, I loved High Mountain. My. First, my shaman that I created for, I think it was the uh, Shadow, Shadowlands expansion. It's like sec first old that I leveled as soon as I got to level my rogue. That started out as High Mountain for like the longest. I actually had so much fun. The knockdown ability, the extra versatility. It's actually really good. Like actually really, really solid. And yeah, I do agree. The antlers look better than horns, personally. Personally. Plus the druid forms were really cool, right? The, uh, the moose with the antlers and all that. And you had the bear with the antlers. I mean, the cat antlers, bear antlers are not as cool as like what Zandalari got, right? Straight up dinosaur, cat form, dinosaur, bear form, all that good stuff. But either way, he's got no. <laughs> with Jailer, yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully that's just over, man. Enderman's fine. He's just one of the characters people cared about 20 years ago. I feel like they could definitely do something cool here. I just hope they don't like try to. Because I know, you know how like from the cinematic, Enderman is kind of like, you know. He has still PTSD from Shadowlands or whatever, right? He remembers Corthia, the word Stygia still ring, causes ringing in his ears kind of deal, right? After being MC by the Jailer. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping they don't just keep him like just a weak character. I'm hoping he'll actually have character development and then it'll just grow stronger over time. Like from personality standpoint, right? I am hoping they do well. Hope they do justice to the guy, but we'll see. We'll see. What are you gonna mean in season four? Rogue. Still rogue. I mean Unless like the guild needs me to play something else, I would much prefer playing rogue, man. I I I could see myself maybe main another class entirely. Hey. I was in this party for like two minutes and they were like, now they decide to say hello. <laughs> they just need a luster man. I should, maybe should have joined them on the um on a mage or something. BTR Dell? It is BTR Dell. Yeah, they still got a, what is it, groups for I don't player class, right? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Watch if we get booted, man. Watch if we get kicked out. <laughs> I'm saying I hope so. That would be the funniest thing ever. Oh, man. Absolute disagree. Cinematic made me really interested in Andrew. And plus, it's got the best musical theme, if I'm honest. True. True. I'm just hoping they don't, like, keep Andrew and, like, soft emotional kind of a guy the entire time right to have his like mental scars perfectly fine i want to see that man overcome his mental scars you know what i mean i want him to grow stronger than ever before you know what i mean that's what i want out of anduin i want that boy to grow strong dude i want him to get big boned and everything i'm just hoping they don't just like mental scars and that's your personality and that's it right i'm hoping to just like here's the hurdle and it's about him overcoming that hurdle i really want best for him that's what I mean by that, right? I, I got not, not saying anything bad or anything whatsoever. Every expansion of one Tinker. Yeah, dude, at some point, Tinker has to be the class. I think they missed the ball. They should have introduced Tinkerer towards the end of BFA. Because how good it would have been, right? Tinker as a class. Because they had gnomes involved in the battle for Dazar lore. Hell, the Mecha, Mecha, Mecha Torque was literally a boss. And then you did a whole quest line with the... Um, to get the mecha gnomes on board, that could have been a tinkerer moment, right? Could have been a Volpera. The, how do they survive? They take a bunch of junk and make something out of it. Here's a tinkerer for the horde. Mecha gnomes, they're literally tinker. That's literally the whole shit. That would have been a perfect opportunity to add tinker. And I think they missed it. And I don't think we'd have like a good time to add a tinker unless they just add a randomly just drop in tinker out of nowhere. Enjoy. 10 to 5, tinker. Boom. That's it. Nothing else. You don't need to add new content, no new zones, tinker. Have fun. <laughs> you know? 
totally agree that should have become a new zone version of a king. Exactly, exactly. I want him to go on a journey. It just... I've been seeing too many games and too many characters that are just kind of stuck in one way when it comes to writing. And that's all and that's all they are, right? Same with Mind Wrath. <laughs> yeah. Least interesting character of all time, Zappy Boy, more interesting. I do miss Zappy Boy. I do wonder what he is up to. I hope we get to catch up with him. Hope Anduin is dead in the jail is cosplaying him. Why would you hope for that? And he'll come back to the end of the war with it and save the plan and redeem himself and become God of Live? Wait, I hope Anduin is dead and the jailer is cosplaying him and he'll come back at the end. How is he gonna come back if he's dead? I mean, Vol'jin died. He hasn't been able to come back. We never get to finish off that storyline. How is he gonna come back, huh? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I should. Yes, let me... Let me... Go do that. <laughs> this guy's uh, looking at my chances like, you should go enchant your gear. I'm like, okay. This guy, <laughs> it's a plus five. <laughs> We're literally struggling to find an extra DPS for a plus five. This guy's like, give it out to me to go enchant myself. I mean, I guess I should, yeah. <laughs> I guess I should. <laughs> Definitely should have got Vol'jin back. At this point, man, we had a literally a whole quest symbol, Vol'jin. You know? Man, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me go and chat my stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you want wafting, right? Yeah, I got wafting. Chest enchant, we got that. Uh, what do we need? Rings enchanted with haste. I guess he's talking like my boots, right? Uh, ring, I don't need that. Weapon, don't need that. Cloak? Yeah. Uh, graceful of woodens. Bracer? Okay. Um... What speed? I don't know. What do you enchant as a warlock? I think speed, right? Okay, we got a guy joining the party. Watch his low. Wait, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Now I got it. Uh, I got that, and I got a uh, belt enchant. Where's that at? Spell thread? I have spell thread. Belt. This guy's straight up give it out to me like, Yo, are you gonna enchant yourself or are you gonna stand there and go gawking? Okay. <laughs> Alright, bracket hide, yeah? <laughs> oh man. Wait, isn't today like uh, 15? What do you mean? Enchanted gear, I gotta push 5? Yeah, it's a 15, yeah, it's basically a 15. That's what it is now, it's a 15. The 5 is a 15. In terms of like overall difficulty. Look at this guy. I guess he is enchanted, so he's ready to go. Ah, he's got this trinket. Watch that be do some cheesy damage, man. Watch that do some cheesy, cheesy stuff. Leech. Head to toe, socket and everything. I'd be hilarious if for some reason I do more damage than he does, and he's like telling me to enchant. Legacy of Tear. He does no way you want to do Ultimate 125, right? No way this man wants to do Ultimate 125, right? Yeah, what are the chances this guy's like, yo, wait, you have your consumables? You have your runes? <laughs> Vol'jin needs to take over Bon Soundy's place. I don't think he will. I think what they were setting up was Vol'jin taking over for Razan, right? The Loa of Kings. Razan, the Loa of King. It looked like they were doing that storyline in Shadowlands. And we literally got to find the Loa in the Shadowlands and help rescue them so they could actually get resurrected again. Because they were literally trapped as well. And one of them was Razan. He's like, I can't go. I can't come back. You got to be the you gotta be the law of Kings of Jin. And I think he went into like a hibernation sleep. And we just never seen anything out of it. Only Lich King will be back. There must always be a Lich King. True. There must always be a Lich King. That is very, very true. Oh, this guy also knows the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can swim under this. You just get up. I didn't really do the swim properly. If you have an Otuk mount, one of those otters, you definitely can do it. Hold on, let me do one of these. One of the, not what I wanted, but okay, that'll that'll work. We'll just keep you there for now. Try to do my trinket here. Oh, everybody dead. Wanna stun? I don't know if that's the play. Probably. Yeah, I'm not doing the damage. Uh oh. That works, I guess. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is he got like a triple? No, no, no. I was going to say maybe he's got like the build where he summons more infernos. 
Oh, well, that's not the case. Where are you going? What? You want to pull the... Okay. That's fine. That actually doesn't make a difference. Will you pull? What kind of build he's got going on? Also, we need to switch out my pet at some point. And I got a second. Good stun. Is that my stun or is that his stun? Might have been his stun. Well, I should get a little closer just so I can like mortal coil stuff. Yeah, dude, this pack feels great. And the fact that you don't really have to play around like a portal trinket or portal talent or whatever, I think it's gonna be kind of nice for this pack too. But you see it a lot of crit, it feels like. Because if you do if you do crit, you do a lot more damage. Also should do go do the whole like red uh, or green fire storyline at some point or quest line. Probably a real war like Diva. Yeah, I should have probably played Demo. That's usually what I play. That's usually what I play. I could run out and reset it. I could swap out. I think I should. Because I probably could do it really quickly. I don't think I need to do any anything talent-wise. I'll just run the same talents I normally do. Unless this character has, like, talents from the Season 1 or whatever. Then that would kind of be lame. Oh, no. Don't move him. Okay, that's fine. Pull more in. I'm fine with that. Move him. No, fine. Oh, yeah. I got the AoE Incinerate talent. I don't know if I should have run that. Maybe. Uh, I don't have a way to interrupt that. Belarus. Okay. Do I, how close do I have to be with Belarus? Hopefully I cleave them. Somewhere. But I can test out the new tier, Demon. Demon didn't really get a new tier. He got a uh, Season 3 tier piece. Yeah, so your tier set for Demonology is literally the same as what you have right now in Season 2. Or Season 3. So it's still that Doom brand, Doom Lord playstyle. Or whatever you call it. Did I do the whole shorter cooldown on Infernal or am I still just running two minutes? I kind of want to hold. I feel like I should hold. What talents are you running, by the way? I'm not, I don't even remember. Here we go. Here's my talent loadout. Yeah, I'm not running shorter Infernal. Maybe I should have ran shorter Infernal. Two minutes instead of the uh, three minutes. Maybe that would have been a little better. I just gotta pick like what uh, I thought I ran in season one. I really was just kind of rolling with it, honestly. Yeah, whatever he's doing, he's doing a lot more damage than I am. Oh yeah, he's doing like a mill. Yeah, I'm not doing as much. I definitely got some kind of a jank build going on. That's for sure. I think Demon Tier Set is great. Oh no, it's really good. Like, it plays into the whole summoner playstyle. It is really, really, really good. It does well. I don't think there's another tier set that could have ran instead. Let me switch over to the actual, like, intro pet. So we can actually be kind of sort of useful. It is not ready yet. Try to see if I can get a little closer just so I can maybe get, an in get my trinket to proc properly. Marksman is doing really good, by the way. I didn't even realize we had an MM. I thought it was BM for a second. I wasn't using my eyeballs up until then. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Honestly, I think pets in general need a rework. They need a better AI, that's for sure. Like, if pets could just be a little bit more, like, active in terms of the they need the island ai imagine if pets had island ai where they were like maximizing their dps constantly how nice would that be i think it'd be wild it'd be weird but i think it would just be nice also you know mm 
What a dark fact that this would take no damage. I have an intro for that. But for butcher, I got her dot him. I really want to rain a fire, but they're not really standing next to each other super well. Okay, that's what it is. Oh, dude, look at the hunter damage. Holy. Yeah, the hunter's popping off. <laughs> look at that guy go. Hold on a second. He's just absolutely just killing these bosses. Okay, Druid? Hank, where are you? Okay, I need to move over... Where are you? There you are. Right? Tank? Yeah, he's over here. Call him. And my Killian's Beres? Dude, I do miss a Killian's Beres still. To this day. Playing Mr. Pandari did remind me about it. I think it was you that mentioned about it too. Look at this guy's damage. Just rapid fire aim shot. Let it cleave. I mean, it does work. Really, really well. I did a little more damage than the other guy, but not that much more. You know what? Maybe his Arcane Barrage Trinket. Maybe that's actually good. Maybe that is good. Who knows, right? Oh yeah, this is going to be kind of painful, by the way. I'm going to do my big AoE. Hopefully I don't die. Already have my haste reduced by a disease. Feels good, man. Yeah, my damage is nowhere near those other warlocks. Yeah, maybe that's what he was like. Yo, you want to make sure you enchant your gear? Make sure you're all set up and ready to go? We are scaled, right? Yeah, we still have a scaling, so my weapons shouldn't be holding me back, hopefully. I <laughs> Say hopefully. <laughs> A little worried about this guy because I don't think you can interrupt him anymore. The oak. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the healer died too. Uh, am I? Okay, we're in combat too. Never mind. Um, spirit beast. So compared to what they used to be, yeah, spirit beast used to be insanely good. I do miss those. Wait. Okay. Weird. Got too many ads. Aggro is hard dealing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is like, aggro is hard dealing. That's true. Aggro is hard dealing. Mm hmm. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so let me hold on. Let me look at his build. What he's got going on here. He's not playing the Fire and Brimstone, so I probably could have ignored that too. I'm Inferno and he's Inferno too, right? Let's see his capstones. Yeah, so you've got two points into Infernal. Next game is both to cost less. I mean, that's really, really good. So he's not playing the two minute either. And he's not playing Burnt to Ashes, whereas I am. I'm probably playing like, single target talents, aren't I? I was thinking like Burnt to Ashes and Brim Fire and Brimstone. Maybe that'll be a really good combo. Who knows, right? Who knows? Maybe it'll be some sort of value, but maybe not. Never care to switch not being able to name certain rare pets. Oh, that is going to be really cool, though, by the way. With the uh, 10 to 7, you'll be able to switch and rename pets as much as you want to. Unless you got them without a switch. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be kind of nice just to have all the pet control, though. You know? Mm -mm 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 Are these guys always interruptible with a burst? Or did they change that? If they were always interruptible, then we were kind of trolling them. I don't think you could interrupt, could you? At least I'm pretty sure you couldn't. I know you could summon totem. Where is it? Where is the totem? It was way back there. Uh cheeks Is 
Try to see if I can clear the totem a little over there. Oh, that is ease. Oh, that, okay. They made it a little bit less hard hitting. I think that hurts. I don't think you could have dropped that one, though. Join the Naughty Squad War with the Roller Coaster. Here we come, dude. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. We'll know something by tomorrow. I pull the boss? Okay. Do you ever normally pull these guys and the boss together? I don't know if you mentor or not. But we're doing it now. Trying to figure some of these things. Yeah, that ability. Oh, the uh, breath? Oh, that could be really, really bad. The grip is not as bad as I remember it being, though. Breath? Yeah, watch out. Actually, I know just look like pets, and you only have uh, can you only have five? Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. So some people have one, but the stables they use like three. Wait, did it want to do a skippy? I think it might have wanted to do a skippy there. Yeah, I think the hunter was trying to do a skip. This guy's doing a lot of damage, by the way. I didn't realize Marshall was gonna be that good. But maybe like do some scaling, or he's got some kind of crazy set of trinkets or whatever. I have no idea. There's some stables and poke in the camps. Yeah, yeah. We mm, 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 mm. the pets. I love the way they do all the stables. They have hopefully better pet balance so when it comes out. I do hope they do this thing too. You know how you can have five pets at a time? Like, if let's say you find a pet you don't have and you can still tame it, even though you don't add it to like your five man squad, it still sends it to like the stable for you to exchange later. So you can just go around, collect a bunch of pets. Come back and like swap them out and exchange them or whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, what trinkets do you think are going to be uh, for Wretched Pal and Blood DK? Even in the uh, Season 4, what trinkets people are going to run? I imagine the Farag trinket with the crit damage is really, really solid back in the day. Or currently in Season 3. And I imagine that's going to continue being good. I'm coming to Healer Tuning for Season 4. Healer Nurse? Hold on. They're nerfing healers? What is this, dude? Hold on a second. They got Class Tuning for Season 4? No shot. Oh, why? Wow, there's actually a lot of Season... Uh, not as much. Many, uh, not as much in, in terms of tuning. But more than I expected it. More than I expected. Hold on. We'll take a look at that in a second. Oh, he's just dead. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I would do it if you just got so much to cleave off of. Man, the amount of damage I'm doing. Hold on, this arcane barrage thing. I'm supposed to have a chance to create arcane illusions. Is it this weapon or is it trinket? Yeah, that thing is doing really good. I didn't realize it was going to do that much damage. Holy. 
<laughs> Never even knew that was a trinket. I guess it is though. Hold on. Go blast this guy. Surprise Pikachu face. Beacon or Argyra combo? You think so? Maybe. A beacon did get nerfed. They did nerf beacon a while ago. So I think beacon is gonna be good, but not as like giga good. Maybe for some classes. Like I remember for Rogue it was good, but that's because we don't really scale like incredibly well or anything. Shrubbed him. I don't have a kick. That guy insta died. Oh, we gotta get feared. Unless we're not. Gamers. Okay. Wait, does this healer actually die or is he just like he's getting procs or something? Because it looks like he's back immediately. He's he's gotta be like running into stuff and getting like a proc, right? Proc res or whatever. No. Okay, we are done. I guess he did die. Keep seeing him go angel form. Oh Beacon was so fun. Oh yeah, dude. So he's for a couple of in yeah, no, Beacon was really really good back in the day. Still a really good trinket in general. Did I pull an extra? I might have pulled an extra guy. With Belarus. No, I didn't mean to or anything. They also changed this boss, didn't they? Like they nerfed him or buffed him or something. Then they changed the totem. How that functions. That looks different, doesn't it? It's like an actual orb now. I don't think it was like an actual orb, was it? It's like a bubble. Like a big old snob bubble. That looks different, right? Yeah, Totem has no health. I think it might just be like way that key scaled right now with a plus five it just has no 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 what is it health in this level yeah it feels like it's about the same in terms of like the fight itself except that just looks different just got number 25 percent is gonna be good really Yeah, this doesn't really feel that different. I thought for some reason this place was completely different. Maybe there's like a trash pack somewhere or some mob that now functions a little differently. I probably should have saved the trinket until later. Yeah, nothing really was all that different. Oh, bracket high is still pretty easy. That's good. This is gonna be the good? I imagine. Yeah, but damage was a little behind this other guy. Not that much, but yeah. Incineration was not the way to go. Incinerator did okay, but not as much as this other guy did. The Hunter, by the way, he popped off. Marksman with his setup? That's really, really good. GG's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's see what this uh, class set of class nerves is. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. 
and just see uh, Destruction's getting in some love recently, and I see people playing Destro. I don't think it's necessarily Destro's getting love, they're just going back to the season one tier set. So they're getting a little more flexibility in which challenge they could run for like their M plus builds or whatever, or rating builds. With season one tier set being like consuming soul shots has a chance to grant your Chaos Maelstrom, increasing your crit chance by 15%, crit strike deals to 12% more damage instead of 200, so it's a direct crit damage buff. I don't even know what is my uptime on the um the tier set actually unstable flames is that it humphrey spells have a chance to draw unstable flames no that's the trinket um so what is the damage buff again it is called chaos maelstrom chaos maelstrom chaos maelstrom that one yeah 50 percent uptime so it's like I guess it's a bit of stats overall and a bit of overall crit damage. I guess. For Chaos and everything. Yeah, Arcade Barrage was a lot of damage for that trinket. Jesus. That was a lot. Actually, kind of good, honestly. Sure, for the one care, get it from the bosses alongside. You can buy them from a vendor. Yeah, you'll be able to buy stuff from a vendor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it was ridiculously high torrent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They reduce the scale on totem as well. Good. Good. So it basically is a free key then. Because it was free back in like when that was a dungeon for the seasonal stuff. Season 4 reducing overall throughput of some healers to better align with our tuning goals. At the same time, we're increasing the comparative power of Holy Paladin, Press Evoker, Holy Priest, without needing to further escalate the capabilities of healers. The following adjustments are now deployed in Titan 6 PTR and will go live at the beginning of Season 4 next week. Mistriever, all healing done reduced by 13%. Oh man, Mistriever's were having such a good time. All of Season 3, shambles. Gone. Resto, healing reduced by 5. Shaman, Resto, reduced by 5? Why is Restoration Shaman getting nerfed? Out of all the healers, wasn't that the one that was having like the most trouble? Hello? <laughs> Rip this humor? 13% is a sizable number. That's a pretty big number. I'm surprised Resto Shaman even got touched. Reduced? <laughs> Priest. As part of our uh, goal for balancing healers and raids, we would like to reduce raid healing output for Disc Priest without affecting them in other content. So Atonement transfers 35% of damage instead of 40. Slight nerve there. Nothing crazy. At least I wouldn't say it's crazy. Atonement healing increased to... 70 outsider raids okay so basically dungeon healing is going to be buffed or yeah dungeon heal is buffed basically cancel each other out so many healing increased by 35 percent pvp okay so pvp and dungeon shouldn't feel different raids five percent reduction basically five percent <laughs> killing reduce for that <laughs> mr still is going to be good holy palette is going to suck yeah holy palette just needs a complete rework because right now they got way too many cooldowns you got to manage in just to heal somebody your crits no longer f don't feel powerful dude you don't feel like you're critting if there's a like crit it should be just a default because you need to chat you need to sing so many holy shocks and word of glory just to get somebody topped off man it is rough as a paladin let me tell you holy dude rip holy again I, it's only oh, <laughs> mystery we're teaching transfer month reduced okay this is probably good that's probably healthy for pvp probably healthy for pvp a lot of people were still complaining about it yeah this is uh mystery of one is pretty big that's solid the rest of druid i can kind of understand the rest of shaman i'm surprised by um yeah holy paladin holy priest maybe they'll feel better because they're the only ones that didn't get nerfed but like it's still i think holy Priest feels okay, actually. I feel like Holy Priest feels fine. Holy Pally definitely needs to better... They just need to figure out what build you play as a Paladin and just buff their burst healing. Sag, Dal, don't read. What do you mean I don't read? I don't even know how to read. <laughs> Rest of Shaman do... I know! Rest of Shaman didn't do anything! What are they, middle of the pack? Hold on, we don't have Subcreation anymore, but we have Archon, right? The one that's like, oh, Wowhead or whatever. Uh, where's Rest of Shaman at, man? A tier? Apparently they're good now. Apparently they got good. Out of nowhere. Okay. I guess A tier is too high. Got a Shaman? <laughs> You'd think Shaman should be S tier because, you know, first letter of the Shaman is S. But uh, A is, you know, second best you could do. Apparently, unless Shaman is C tier, the game is not tuned well. <laughs> They've been like C tier for a good bit too, weren't they? 
They kept buffing him, and it was like, it's not enough, it's still rough. And they buffed him some more, it's still rough, man. And they buffed him some more, it's still rough, Liz, you keep buffing us, it's still rough, man. And now they nerfed him, what? <laughs> Am I, did I miss out? Was the rest of Shaman all of a sudden, like, insane? Because I just remember friends complaining about it from season to season, that's all I remember. Do you think that uh, I should run melee build in the team? I do think you should run a melee build as a paladin? Maybe, dude, maybe. I do want to try it at some point. You know, or probably again. I want to try, actually. Can we do a paladin build and just join the key as a melee build? I just want to try it. Maybe, like, not a super high key or whatever. Because I don't think I'll be able to properly heal it. But, like, I kind of want to try a melee paladin. Isn't it for rest of shaman where the tier was better? You mean Shadowlands shaman or you mean, like... You mean Shadowlands season 4? Problem with the Shaman is no passive DPS. Don't they have? Okay, so they used to have good passive DPS because every time you drop down healing rain, that gave you acid rain, and then you would be able to put flame shocks and lava bursts. But yeah, I guess you don't. I mean, acid rain they nerfed it a bunch, didn't they? It used to be really, really, really good. Yeah, if they just let acid rain be a thing, and then just let it focus on healing, maybe that would work out okay too. Who knows, man? Level plus five. Is that the same guy? Oh man, I would have, I would have healed it. No good life pools. I could try healing life pools. I don't know how well I do on a plus ten, but who knows, right? Yeah, healing rain five mans. You wouldn't cast it much without acid rain. Yeah, I guess that's true. But that's what I meant. Like, with, I guess with acid rain. But if you mean like for, like in raiding environments and other stuff, yeah. Maybe there could have been like a totem you could put down, right? And then does some damage based on the healing you do or whatever, right? Something along those lines. Or like a passive damage totem you could throw in there. That would have been nice too. Because a new set? It could be, but it's not like you really get a new set. So you're really just getting like the old sets that existed before, you know? Do, 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 do. What do you guys think? Should I try healing a Ruby Life Pulse on Melee Sh Pally? It should work, right? I still have like a lot of the same buttons. I just have pressed melee wings. All right? Maybe I should just give it a try. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go in. I was thinking maybe if that plus five had a healer, I could join in that. Try it out there in a more stress-free environment, but might as well, right? <laughs> Magma total, let's go. Dude, Magma total would have been great, dude. Yeah. That's a shaman healing pretty good now, but you burn through mana if you don't have recover. That's true. That's also very, very true. They do burn to mana pretty quickly. They used to be one of the better killers for mana, too, because Water Shield, plus you have the mana, Spring, Talon, slash Totem. Used to be Totem. They became a Talon. And then they just kept, like, like, okay, too much healing, too much mana, too much recovery. All your horses kept nerfing it. Might as well try it out as a PTR for him. I just don't want to embarrass myself. Like, it's, it's going to happen. I just don't want to embarrass myself. Right, if I can help it. I prefer not to embarrass myself. <laughs> I'll give it a shot, man. We'll give it a proper go. Probably should swap out my belt and enchant these things. I think maybe this guy has a belt. I think he has the PvP stuff. Yeah, not too much gear. Maybe I could get like a crit versa belt. It's actually not that high of an item level. Not that much different. Damn. Um. I get this. I'll need a couple of things. I need. Do I have legs? No, I don't have legs. So let's do mana. We'll do belt. I already got Sophie in my weapon. Rings, I'm pretty sure I get crit, right? Sounds about right. Stats. Cloak. Leech. Leech. Boots. Uh, 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 stam. That'll do it. 
and hope we don't die. I don't, I don't even know if my melee healing is going to be able to do anything. I'm just kind of thinking about like, well, I need. I feel like I need a bit more burst healing. So maybe melee healing would be the way to do it. I haven't done it in a good bit, but like it hasn't been that strong in a good while too. Really coming for Pandaria Remix to come out. Which was so fun. Dude, it was such a good time. It was actually such a fun time. Yeah, I, I, a lot of people were excited for it when they initially announced it, but I don't think anyone expected for it to be as good as it was once people started playing it. That's, I think, where it really turned around. It's like, wait, actually, once you start playing, it's a banger piece of content, man. It is so good. I'm also going to change this trinket. This thing doesn't feel that good to play with. And last time, I don't remember how often did I end up buffing everybody for mana. I actually see what my resources was. Uh, man restored. I did it wrong. Uh, I mean, Molten Radiance does restore mana, but Blessing of Winter basically does the same. I don't know. Maybe I should try a different healing trinket. Like an actual healing trinket. Like, uh, that's a good trinket generally. Uh, any of the right trinkets good? Holy. Could do the... That's mana also. That's stats. With haste. Why haste? Do, 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 do. I can grab allies a shield on a minute CD. I mean, that could be kind of good, right? Or pips. I think I'll do pips in that. Just a couple of passive trinkets. That'll be fine. I should hopefully work okay. Hopefully. Keyword. Keyword here. But yeah, Pandaria was really, really, really good. Like, it had no reason to be as good as it was. And it was a fantastic bit of content, man. Actually incredible. Yeah, my crits don't even do anything. Kind of wild as a pallium. Just have crits do no damage. Or no healing, rather. Man. <clears throat> I think the biggest problem with Paladin is the whole, like, so many different choices of capstones and so many different playstyles they're trying to support. And none of them ever feel like all that effective. I think they just need to figure out, like, okay, you are a... And just pick whatever random paladin build, right? That Blizzard likes the most. It feels like it fits the playstyle better. And just really refine it super, super, super well. Instead of, like, having it split up into, like, so many different playstyle choices that you could combine together. <laughs> but if you were to try, it just doesn't really work super well at all. Because there are people in the community that want to play Cassidim, people want to play Melee Heladins, people want to play Martyrdomidins, people want to play Beacadins. There's so many different builds of Paladin, so many different communities have been like created over the expansions. And now it's just like, holy shock, feels like it does nothing. Even if it crits. I mean, it's a decent bit of healing, but with how much health we have in Season 4, it's just barely scratching the surface. I kind of miss when Holy Shock was like a huge burst of healing. I think it was BFA, right? The last time they had like really bursty healing for Paladin. Or maybe it was uh, Shadowlands. I didn't play a lot of pa Holy Paladin and Shadowlands so much though. Even though they're really fun with the whole Shadow... Not Shadow. What's it called? Ashes? <laughs> not Wake of Ashes. It's like... um, What's the Covenant ability they had with Venthyr? Ashen Ground, right? Hollow Ground? Ashen Hollow? Is that what it was? I almost want to call it either Ashen Ground or Hollow Ground. But I'm pretty sure it's Ashen Hollow. I don't remember. But it was really, really, really strong. Ashen Hollow? Okay, yeah. <laughs> For some reason I came up with two words that I thought, maybe if I combine them together, maybe that's what I'll be thinking. Maybe that's the right one. Maybe. Oh, 
I'm grinding out new season before season four. Oh wow, which is why I'm not logging in PTR. Wait, what? Oh, Overwatch. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you do your thing, my guy. We should just only get like need one DPS, and we should be good to go. Hopefully, if it's taking forever, then I might dip out of those groups. See if I can maybe find another one. Possibly. But we'll see. We'll see. Emerald heals up to five injured allies, flash of light, holy light, judgment quirk will set, reset the cooldown of hammer wrath. I mean, this might be really, really strong if you were to play melee, like for burst healing. Holy Paw is still bad? That's still down bad. Last time I played it, it was a little bit rough. Like, it's doable. It's just like, it still feels like you have to load yourself up with a lot of cooldowns, right? Layer a bunch of CDs together just to like effectively heal everybody. Yeah, at least in dungeon healing. I don't know how it would be playing raids, but from hearing, from talking to uh, a guildie, he said it was miserable healing like Farak on that thing because it just feels like every time he presses a button, none of them feel effective unless he's got like cooldowns rolling. And then it's just. So you have like very, very unsatisfying moments of play, right? Where you have a lot of healing and then, or a decent healing, and then you have no healing. <laughs> Like, it still is an effective class, and AM is really, really good, and everything else, right? Like, in general, all these things are really, really strong. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's down bad. It is down bad, that's for sure. Try to see if we can get us as a plus one more DPS on PTR. And we'll see if, uh, we can try to heal a, what's it, a ruby. I'm trying, I'm trying something different for a build, though. I'm trying to see if I can maybe do some, um... I'm trying to see if I could do maybe a little bit of that uh, melee healing, see if that could be maybe a little more effective. Just because the playstyle that you play now just, I don't know, just doesn't feel satisfying. So I wonder if maybe I can adjust it, do a little bit of more melee bursty stuff. Maybe that'll feel better, you know, more wings up time in general. They also said on the blue post they're increasing the power of Holy Pala, etc. Nothing been said on the Pala. So all they said on the blue post is they did say like they want to buff of the what is it we're increasing the competitive power of holy paladin press evoke or holy priest without needing to further escalate their healing capabilities they're doing that by nerfing other healers they're not buffing them they're just nerfing other healers to make it more even with the bottom healers <laughs> the less popular healers so it's it's not necessarily a way to buff paladin you just rather to bring everybody down to their level. So I guess Pallas got a buff because everybody got a nerf. Or Pallas didn't get a nerf while well, those did, but you can look at it as a buff. But yeah, no actual buffs came out or anything. <laughs> None. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see how these things go, man. It's just it, I think they just need a playstyle change. They need to get holy shocks that now really get someone's held back up to topped and maybe they need to like rethink their uh, economy on how many holy shocks you can send out and i would love for them to buff up light of dawn so it actually feels like it heals because it heals five allies for fourteen thousand. <laughs> we have a million health and it heals for fourteen thousand <laughs> on five allies <laughs> like what <laughs> like <laughs> word of glory will heal at least for sixty thousand, which is kind of low too but 14,000 for five. I guess like if you look at it all five, it just feels like a pad healing button, right? Yes, technically it's more on five targets than a Word of Glory, but everybody gets a measly 14K, man. <laughs> they need to fix Holy Power Spenders. Fix the Holy Spenders? Yeah, they do. I agree. Bottom, Holy pre Present Holy Bottom Healers? I assume that they are because they're trying to make, as I said in the blue post, they want to make it more competitive. I'm assuming that they're not as competitive, right? Any other classes besides healers? No, nothing really got changed. I'm sure they'll have like a new set of tuning once the season four launches or maybe a week after, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Looking for big DPS for 15 AA. Are they gonna go, uh, 
Are they good going to season 4? President Walker might be meta after the nerfs too. I, we have no idea, right? We have no idea. We'll see. Yeah, they don't feel great. The Holy Power Spenders don't feel great as a Paladin. Like, it is good healing, right? The healing numbers technically are there, but they don't feel impactful, right? You don't... You used to feel like if you Word of Glory somebody, like, you could say... You could burst heal people to full health. It was really, 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 really nice, right? They take big hits, you burst heal them back up to full, you, they're chilling. But I guess, like, right now you do generate a lot of resources as Paladin. You generate a lot of holy power, you're swimming in holy power, so they had to bring down the impact of the holy power that you do end up sending. I feel like they need to go back and like reduce the amount of holy power you generate, but then buff the holy power abilities you have to make them even better, right? Like, that's, that's the only way to really make it work, I think. Unless there's like another solution in general, just buff everything. Preservation is a lot more powerful than people say. It is really good, but it's not as competitive. It is really good, just not as competitive. Yeah, I don't think anyone's arguing with the presence. It's just not as competitive. That's like the only gripe they have with it right now. Why do I have a triangle above my head, though? Hopefully it doesn't mean anything. Not competitive with season 4 tier set, huh? That is a good looking tier set. But why am I getting marked? Hello? Huh. Why am I getting marked? With green. <laughs> is it just like so they could see where the healer is at? Or is that like a PvP marking thing going on? Because I'm not marking myself. I think didn't the chat just show like who marks what? Maybe I could like Or is it just like Ray check marks me? Yeah, it looks like Ray check marks me. I don't like this mark above my head. <laughs> I don't like being having spotlight on me like that. Yeah, those season four tier set should be good, but I guess like I mean Blizzard has numbers internally, right? So they probably saw that yeah, they're not doing as good, so let's just nerf the guys that are outliers, right? That's most likely what happened. They probably have some internal data to suggest that they might not be as effective. Who knows, right? Who really knows? But that tier set does look really good, though. The one that I got going on. Uh, I'm going to get myself buff. I don't know if I'm going to need it or whatnot. I also got to remember what I do with this. Three holy power. So I basically need to go in and... um, What is it? Get a bunch of holy power in the opener. Are we doing Skippy? No. Dude, two, two holy shocks just to get that guy who's like 5% of his health recovered. This spec is so wild. Try to see if I can get myself a little bit of holy power. Okay, I don't even get to keep it. All right, that's fine. Are we going in? Are we going in, my guy? What are the one of these? Uh, oh god. Uh, bop you. I mean, that healing feels pretty good. Damage-wise, I'm doing kind of whatever damage. It actually is just irrelevant. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to buff here. Buff either here, either. Trying to heal this man as best as I can, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep you healed. Trust, I am trying. Let me do this. Let me give you Hand of Freedom just so you don't have to get TC it ever. Got 
lot of mana. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, I'm dead. Trying to keep us alive, man. Trying to. Group healing is kind of doing okay, though. That's about all that's really going well is group healing. charge somebody yep not me at least wings random wings beautiful he's gonna rush rushing backwards okay I mean it's kind of working <laughs> I'm getting mad after this Like the random melee healing is kind of sort of doing okay. I feel like I just need a lot more crit though. Okay. <laughs> I could help you there. I'm gonna need mana though. I do feel like I'm I'm a really I need a big sip. I'm a, I'm a thirsty boy with this build. See if I can get you up real quick and then mana up. Or you could do it, and I could just drink. Daybreak gives a big burst at one time. That's just, I see healing's finally pretty good. Just once in a while, though. That's a 45 second CD, man. I don't know if that's the way, though. I don't like that. What the? Okay. Uh, interesting. Hold on. Interesting play. She immediately busted eggs open. Uh, I'm gonna AM this. Okay. Maybe I can heal everybody with just melee healing for a bit. Is it getting the eggs just so we don't have as many of them later? Or is it a percentage kind of thing? Or is it trying to like... What's happening? Is this the build? Is this the play? Is he just trying to put those ice in the, uh, like, where they spawn? Uh, I need to get the hell out of dodge. It's gonna hurt. And the freedom. Maybe it's a pad strat? I'm not sure actually. I'm really not sure. I am out of mana though. I didn't really get that big of a sip. As big of a drink as I wanted to. Uh, hand of freedom for you. You're probably gonna die. Trying to make sure you don't die. There's a lot of ice everywhere.
Trying to keep all of you alive, boys. Pain. Pain. Pain chat. A lot of pain. <laughs> A lot of pain. How's my healing doing? I mean, we are healing. Beacon of Light, Word of Glory. I mean, it's kind of sort of doing stuff. Kind of sort of doing stuff. But the other dragon. I still need more mana. Jesus, I was thirsty, dude. I was. Th Why did we grab so many dragons? What would that even do? It's just the guys getting slapped a lot more. It's got to be pad, right? It's got to be just a flame strike pad, right? It, it has to be it, right? Is that what's going on, or is it just like he's? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't like that. What was the point of that? <laughs> Somebody explain. It has to be pad, right? Okay, this guy's gonna hurt, by the way. This uh, Drake hurts a ton. There's a problem. Okay, I'm literally not frontal. I'm dead. Oh yeah, I gotta dispel him. Forgot about that. That's a mechanic. Okay, well, at least everybody can heal. Or at least I can heal everybody with AoE. Oh, the AoE healing is fantastic, by the way. This feels great. Yeah, the AoE healing is actually really good. Breath. Watch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> holy, holy, holy. He went from like actually okay health wise to not okay. Not okay in the slightest. Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> what happened there? Was this my lack of healing? I mean, very, very possible, but damn. Hold on, what killed him? He was fine and then just thunder jaw. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have a cooldown for it or something. Who knows? Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, that was pain. I was kind of hoping my melee healing would keep you alive. Stun him. Hold more. Okay, that's fine. Find them. Does anything? Yeah, the amount of cooldowns you have to use as a paladin just to keep everybody alive, it is wild still, man. Not a fan of it at all. Although once I do have melee healing, that feels a little bit better though. Like playing this build. Oh for holy paladin tuning back to the scenes of glory. True! I would be actually perfectly okay with this at this point. I don't know, like, would it be busted for them to actually be playable and enjoyable? Is that really that bad? He's just standing in fire. I'm not sure what's happening. Try and top a tank, but it's so hard. <laughs> okay. Let's try to see if I can interrupt. Bunch of melee healing. We lusted that? Interesting. Yeah, melee healing, I mean, it's keeping everybody alive. Like, as long as I got melee heals, I can just slam, we're chilling. Don't die, please. Nice. Yeah, melee healing kind of feels okay, actually. Like, surprisingly okay. But I am basically having to play around wings where I have good healing with wings, no healing without wings. Essentially. That feels weird. I don't know, mana. Are we good? I mean, is it just waiting on me? I mean, if you were just waiting on me, might as well go, right? Stop? Okay. Oh, that big guy. That's what he was trying to avoid. You know what? That actually works out pretty well. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are we skippy or just going in? Okay, we're just going in. I'm gonna stun that guy. Insta, you get a buff. Okay, that's not good. Um, try to see if I can heal this guy. Even a little bit. We gotta keep going, don't we? Oh, we gotta get the dragon, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting the dragon. I don't know if we meant to get the dragon or not, but here we are. Don't stay in the fire, tank! Okay. Maybe we'll be okay. I got cooldowns rolling. We got wings for now. Melee healing is a play. What is your health went? What did your health go? Okay, well, I give you a big heal. Apparently, I need to. What? What is happening? I am. We're gonna die. I feel like we're dead. God, World of Glories do nothing. This feels terrible, chat. This feels awful. This man's just dying. What is killing you? <laughs> just died. I guess she death maybe or something. What killed that man? <laughs> I guess me. Damn. I feel terrible. Wait, is there still packed pathing back here, by the way? Or is that no longer a thing? I'm gonna give you a buff. Here we go. We could try to heal it. Oh no, there's still a pack. Okay. Let's see if we can pull him in a little closer without interrupt. Stun him real quick. Ow. Holy, yeah, we're all dying. Move the buffs. Man, okay. Okay, you got him? Okay. I'll work with this guy for now. Man, this is rough to heal him. Like melee healers, it should be uh, melee healers that are like melee DPS. It should be melee healers like they are melee DPS. Well, melee healers, I mean, there's it's a playstyle choice more or less, right? I don't think it's some, some of them are intended. I mean, some I guess, yeah. Paladins intend to be a melee healer or at least be put into melee groups. And heal from within the melee because of the mastery. Uh, I'll give Shadow Priest buffs. I don't really know. This guy, I do remember this boss a little. I don't like where she's at. Okay, that works. That works, okay.
built up a little bit of resources for this. Oh yeah, now we're healing. Now we're chilling. Look at that healing. Look at that group healing, boys. Got mobility. Have none. Nice. <laughs> Are we actually going to be able to time this? We have 10 minutes. What do you guys think? I don't know, man. If we do like a big pull, but I feel like this next few big pulls are going to be really painful. Maybe melee healing Karako is not going to be the play. Maybe that's going to feel pretty awful. I might have to bubble this. Trying not to. I am this. Oh god. <laughs> that is so painful. I had nothing there. I should have maybe set up a... I should have had a... Uh, what is it? The uh, Tears of Deliverance roll or something. That's probably what I should have done. That's my fault. Damn. That's just so much damage goes out if I don't have melee wings there. Oh man. I had... Uh, Toll. I had... Uh, what's it called? Daybreak. I had stuff too. Man. You know, I might actually want to switch out Quicken for Divine Resonance, just so these this lines up with this every minute or so. That might actually be the play, instead of like a shorter cooldown, because that does nothing right now. I probably should have thought about that a little better. Uh, let me do this. Lightning Storm. Has stuff there for that Lightning Storm, but the guy just died either way. Next Lightning Storm is what I'm really, really afraid of. I feel like he's about to do it, yeah. He's about to do it. Okay, that deals with it, sort of. Yeah, you have to trade cooldown for, like, any ability. Whereas a monk there, I would just press TG and just chill. Here I can't. Holy Pal with no CD is, like, playing Whack-A-Mole Noodle. Yeah. Yeah, without CD. That's what I really dislike about Pally. Like, they, they used to be pretty strong, though. Like, they used to have cr big crit healing. But, like... What is it? With things like, what is healing this guy right now? Trinket? Oh, it is double trinket. Okay. Oh, man. Got lightning storm immediately. Big defense and group healing needed. It used to be like a lot more reliable feeling. Right? It used to come in, pop in, do some big damey. You're a paladin. Nothing's gonna stop you. Definitely doesn't feel that way. What do I have for the next one? Not a lot. Lightning Storm, here it goes. Oh, I am, I am, I am, I am. Okay, that Lightning Storm is not as bad as the other guys. It doesn't last as long. I have Melee Wings coming up. I don't know if I'll be able to use them though. I want to have melee wings. Oh, I have those though. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. I have never had to sweat this much as a healer. 
Like I'm actually having to think about my next move very, very carefully. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. Give me a mana. Give me a sip, yeah? Give me a little sippy. Give me a little sippy, friend, and then we'll try. Karak is gonna hurt. I did change her a little bit, but I'm still thinking it's gonna be a pain. Alright, that's about as good as it's gonna get, friend. Let's go. Yeah. Hit Karaka if you can. Why is he melting right now? Uh oh. Oh god. At least I don't have to cast heal with this build. That is a slight advantage. Oh, they're popping together? Okay. Oh no. Alright, hold on. I can res in a bit. I'm just gonna take a lot of damage here in a moment. Uh, okay, well I can res you. Where are you? You guys are just dead. I guess he instantly targeted you while I'm trying to get you guys topped off. Holy shock, beautiful. Okay, you back. Take you one at a time. Nice, I can get you now. I have to do it so jank. Where is it going? Okay, that's fine. I never used here. I should have used here earlier. That probably would have helped. I have my tier position all the way on the right hand side. I probably should move where my tier is at. Because just using tier for this would have been incredible. Yeah, that was painful. I don't know, man. They need to redo Paladin. I feel like they need to redo Paladin. It's a very fun class, too. It's a very fun class. I just need, think it needs probably a bit of a redo. This felt weird, but how was my healing? Word of Glory, it's healing for a 300 at most. At most. Average is 81. We have a million health and I'm healing for maybe 10% of it. Maybe. Maybe. Avenger Crusader. Actually... The high end, low end, what's the highest damage? Crit heals and normal heals? I mean, it could crit heal for quite a bit, I guess. Did okay. Group healing, too. It's healing multiple people at a time. Uh, veneration, not as good as I thought it would be, but... Maybe we should take a look at the entire overall, though. Hold on, let me see my overall melee healing. Let's get back to all Pally, no reason to all the CDs. True, true, true. I'm not a big fan of all the CDs. CDs. Yeah, let me take a look at all the melee healing. I tried to make a melee healing thing work here. Greater Judgment, I'll count as melee healing. For Greater Judgment, Avenger Crusader Veneration, I guess it's decent in my overall healing. But yeah, I, I do want it to go back to like big bursty heals. <laughs> my holy shocks are only healing for 100k max. And then we have all a million health. Tanks have more than a million. Man. Look how much healing, I mean, he has, Demon Hunters usually do a lot of healing, right? That's not uncommon. But man, it's just so, I don't know, man. I miss when it was bursty. It's like everything is so even healing, right? Nothing's really bursty. None of my healing really pops. Although I could have held that out myself. I could have used True Deliverance and Hand Divinity more often. I should start using those more regularly. And I probably should switch over this to a 1 minute CD. So that lines up better with my um, Daybreak. Because that's also a minute CD. And those were just desyncing from each other pretty constantly. I probably should want to use them together. Have you seen the Heal and Earth posted? Yes, I did. I did, Liam. Yeah, they're... I don't know, based on what my chat reaction was, Mr. Nerf shouldn't even be that bad, based on what my chat said. Um, the other guys, I was surprised the rest of the Shaman got nerfed. A lot of us were. Um, we'll see. I, I, the, I think Evoker is looking kind of good, potentially, after these other healer nerfs. Evoker is probably going to look good. Holy Priest is going to be okay. 
Uh, Disc Priest, I think it's going to be fine outside of raids. I don't know about Paladin, though. We'll see. Makes me want to puke. Yeah, and Divinity. Yeah, <laughs> and a Divinity, man. I know. I Like, maybe Divine Favor should be the play here. I don't really know. I'm just running Hand Divinity because that's what I'm used to, but... Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the play. Man. I don't know. It's weird. Makes you want to pick. Wait. Hold on. Is my build wrong? Is that what's happening? Do you even have Blessing of Summer on your bars? I do. It's right over here. It just it rotates. Right now it's in a Blessing of Spring, but I do. Blessing of Spring. The next one's going to be Blessing of Summer. I do, I do, I do. Promise you. I definitely had it. Let me see. Just to make sure that I did use it. Did I see them up damage meters? Yes. <laughs> you can see right here. I did use Blessing. Promise you. I played Nightfit Paladin when that was a thing. Before I became the meta build, I was a big fan. I was a Blessing Enjoyer before people started playing it. Yeah, I make sure to press my Blessings and rotate them. I am a good boy when it comes to that kind of stuff, man. I'm a good boy with that. Trust, trust. <laughs> Although I do wonder if, like, maybe Merciful Auras is passive healing might be okay, too. Because it's 3,000, it's still very little healing, but, like, passive healing maybe kind of okay at times. Who knows, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I love Paladin. I love the feel of Paladin. Melee healing was okay, but it didn't feel stronger than what is available. None of the builds really feel strong. All of them feel like they do about the same, and it's just like, you have cooldowns? Okay, you're kind of effective. You don't have cooldowns? You're not really all that effective. I did Ash and Frost Gems in Season 2 in Shadowlands, just got full DPS. Bro, that was so f I never played it. I never played it back in Shadowlands. I probably should have, though, because a lot of people had fun and did big damage. It was hilarious. Could I DPS and DPS? Yeah, it was awesome. Five minute cooldown, but it really made you feel, like, impactful, and they tried tuning it, and that, was that didn't go as well as I thought it would. Yeah. Maybe too much tuning. Maybe you shouldn't tune it as much. Don't crank the snobs nearly as much. But yeah. <laughs> they just gotta figure something out, man. I it's just too many builds of paladin are available. You can make like a melee paladin that uses glimmer, that plays daybreak, that plays tier deliverance, that also uses a lot of the Mardir Pally, and just too many cooks in the kitchen, it feels like. Also it means I have a hundred percent logs of damage with like that tier. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Shadowlands was a wild expansion, but I'm glad you had fun with it though. As a paladin, it was definitely a pretty good time. And you were pretty bursty when it comes to your overall healing. Oh hey. Tars. Kazroar. Is that you? Kilson? Is that you? Can I play with you? Oh, that is you. I'm I'm kinda done, man. I did my key. Uh it is about time for me to get ready for raid. Do I have that toy by the way? I think I picked it up earlier. Shuffling sands, yeah. That's a good toy. I need to go back and get it if I haven't yet. It's like on a vendor near the bronze temple, isn't it? Or like where you go to Dodi. Or Dawn. Yeah, Paladin. I don't know, man. They gotta do some with Paladin. I think they just gotta at some point figure out like what kind of a Paladin they're gonna be. Settle on one specific build of Paladin, right? And just like... I don't like them being sustained class though. You didn't PTR or retail? Uh, no, uh, raid? Retail. There's no really a point to do raids on PTR. I don't even know if you can do raids on PTR. I don't think you can even test any of the awakened mechanics or whatever they're gonna be. I think all of that is just like a surprise that is hidden. So we'll see what that all looks like once it comes out in season 4 I guess. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> Why is it so fast? Is it because it's just small? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Look at him. He's going so fast. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, no, we're doing retail raid uh, for Rack Mythic. It'll be fun. 
but yeah, I'm, a, I'm probably gonna go right now, get some to eat before the raid, and then I'll try to see if I can prep for tomorrow and this week in particular. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can wake up tomorrow early. I started watching The Boys. I never watched The Boys. I missed out on The Boys completely. But because of the Fallout show, I ended up getting uh, Amazon Prime just to like watch Prime videos, see the show, and uh, decided, well, I have a little bit of time left with the membership, so... I'm gonna go watch the boys and now it's one of the shows where like I can probably spend all night like no sleep just watching from episode to the next to the next I'm just season one though so yeah that's gonna be not healthy for me chat thank you so much going by appreciate you I'm gonna go for the time being though you guys are wonderful awesome thanks so much for watching tomorrow we'll see what happens tomorrow yeah let's just go with that like we'll just see what happens tomorrow man all right We'll see. But the alpha, it's gotta be soon. Very, very soon. Alrighty. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll catch you guys all in the uh, tomorrow stream, yeah? Alrighty, boys? Alright? Alright, take it easy. Peace.